It's coming in shallow. That's it. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. 国际太空站上的六人小组成功拦截到火星观测器“朝圣者”后，意外发现其携带的土壤样本藏有生命体，这是人类首次探测到外星生命。太空人对这个被命名为卡文的生命体进行培养研究，却发现它具备高度智慧。更可怕的是，卡文似乎别有居心，太空人的生命受到严重威胁。I'm gonna try and pull my hand out. Sit. Okay, okay. It's in between my fingers. 结合科幻与惊悚题材的电影《异星智慧》，由杰克·葛伦霍、莱恩·雷诺斯、雷贝卡·福格森、艾瑞扬·巴卡雷以及日本男星真田广之组成太空人团队，在封闭的太空站上躲避卡文的追杀。他们得想办法警告人类，并阻止卡文入侵地球。为了拍出太空站的无重力场景，演员大部分时间都吊在钢丝上，模仿在太空中漂浮移动的样子。You never really know what's up and what's down, as you know there is none in space, particularly for the real astronauts. And in a, basically a horror film and a thriller where you don't know where that next thing is coming, it makes it four or five times more terrifying. 原本小巧的外星生命在人类培养下快速成长，被电击之后唤醒强大本能，局势在一瞬间逆转。卡文为求生存而消灭其他物种，人类悲剧就此展开。It's getting bigger. When we go out and we take something from its natural habitat, I mean, science is beautiful and it's incredible that we have the technology to do what we're doing today. The question is, when do we step over the threshold of ownership and maybe gradually create our own disaster? 异星智慧的剧情架构与一九七九年的异形有着异曲同工之妙，但在视觉特效上更加到位。太空站样貌与现今科技极为接近，警示意味相当浓厚。